Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and today what we're talking about is how well do fish smell? Now, when you're out there fishing, you gotta involve the fish's senses, obviously, because if they don't see your lure, feel your lure, hear your lure, smell your lure, whatever, or bait, you don't catch a fish, right? So they have to perceive it in some way in order to be attracted to it, in order for you to catch that. Uh, fish that you're targeting. So it's important to understand just how evolved some of these fishes uh, are. You know, some are more sight oriented, some are more uh, smell oriented. You know, some use their lateral lines a lot. So it just depends on the species, but I really want to cover just how well do fish smell. All right, and I guess the bottom line, how well do fish smell? Most of them very well. You know, some better than others. Uh, you've probably heard some of those uh, uh, scientific reports that a, a shark can smell one drop of blood in a Olympic size an Olympic size pool. So that's pretty good smell. Yeah, obviously they've been around pretty long, 400 million years, so they probably have some evolutionary advantages over something like, say, a dolphin or a sailfish. But the bottom line is a lot of fish rely upon their smell more than others. And it just seems to me like um, a lot of the time it's fish that are living in darker water or murky water sometime. They really, really uh, are going to rely upon smell. So, well, you know, who cares, right? Well, anyone that likes catching tons of fish should care because, uh, you know, when you're using something uh, like, say, a gold spoon or whatever, Sure, they can see it, right? It's shiny in the sun. They can feel it using their lateral lines, but, but they really don't smell it. You know, it, you're only using two of those senses. So the bottom line with this video is this things you should do if you want to catch more fish is you add smell to lures whenever possible. Um, you know, there's, there's a product out there called Procure, uh, which is great. It comes in mullet and shrimp and all kinds of different smells that you can just, it's a real sticky gooey stuff that you can add right to your, um, right to your lures. You know, I don't have any on me right now where I show, show you, but, uh, so if you, if you're going to use any sort of lure that th doesn't already have a scent, you know, add the pro cure to it. It's not really expensive. I think it's like 12, 15 bucks. Uh, and you can use it, you know, for tons of different fishing trips. So, so you add smell to your lures whenever possible. Or just use lures that already have scent on them. Uh, I use a lot of gulp products, but there's tons of different scented banks that baits out there. It's just that's what's at Walmart. When I go get my groceries, I pick up some gulps. Um, another thing uh, that gets overlooked all the time is fresh dead baits. I don't care what you're fishing for. You know, everyone's like, oh, you know, I want to catch a tarp in this this awesome, you know, predator fish. Well. I catch most of mine with dead baits on the bottom. Uh, sure, they'll hit a live ladyfish or a live pinfish or live mullet or something like that, but they're lazy. They're predators. They just want to hang out and, hey, yeah, let me just pick that up. You know, it's like opening up the pizza box the next day and going, oh, cool. There's cold pizza there. I'm going to eat that. So they're lazy just like we are. So don't, don't forget to use dead baits. You know, one of my favorite ways to catch a reds and snook is around here you know i'm in port st lucy um is to toss a, a fresh piece of mullet or ladyfish a chunk of bluefish even up underneath the mangroves you throw it up there and just sit you watch when they're cruising as that tide's coming in you'll pick up a red or a snook if you do that so procure the uh the things that uh, don't already have a smell to them and I can almost guarantee you'll start catching more fish. All right, so those are the do's. Here are the don'ts. Don't let the sunscreen spray get on the lures or anything else unnatural, any other unnatural smells. I see it all the time, that spray sunscreen stuff. Yeah, you know, it's spraying all over the place. It's going right on the lures. Don't let that crap get on the lures because a snook or whatever you're fishing for, redfish, who, who cares? They're going to be like, well, that smells funny. It looks right, but I don't like the way it smells. I'm not going to eat it. So 
You know, and, and say say you were messing with your engine and you got some motor oil on your hands. Fish don't eat motor oil. They don't want that. So you got to make sure that you don't taint your baits with weird smells um, that they don't know about. Because, you know, fish are smarter than we give them credit for. All right. So here's the bottom line. Get more senses stimulated when you're trying to catch a fish. So if you can get something where they can see it, they feel the vibrations, right? They can hear it, clicking through the water, bouncing off the bottom, whatever, you know, vibrations, so they feel it. They can smell it too. Well, that's, that's what you want. You want to be able to stimulate as many of these senses as possible. But I'll tell you right now, in my opinion, I think smell is as important as sight when it comes to catching these fish that we like to fish. Uh, yeah, I mainly fish inshore, so maybe it's a little bit different offshore where they, a lot of the fish tend to have larger eyes per their body mass. But inshore, just think about it, you know? Most of these fish really don't have big eyes like that. A tarpon does, of course, and so some, you can tell they're sight-oriented fish, but look at a redfish, for instance, or a black drum. Um, real, they get huge, they get these little bitty eyes. So you can tell that their olfactory senses are really what's important to them. Uh, so they, they don't need their eyes as much. So they're feeling and smelling their way through their underwater world instead of seeing their way through the underwater world a lot of times. I mean, they have eyes for a reason, so they're going to use them, so I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the importance of smell is very important. So think about that when you're out there trying to catch more fish. But uh, you can find more of this information right on our website. It's www.fisheryourassoff.com. We have a how-to section, a where-to section, a what-to section, informational, educational videos. Uh, we got it all right there. So go ahead and check it out if you want to learn more about uh, catching more fish. Uh, but I think that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.